This morning we're going to program a Simplex 4007 ES. Now normally I would call the Simplex tech and she would come out and program this for us. It just seems to be more efficient that way but she's getting harder and harder to get a hold of so I did ask her if she could let me either borrow her laptop or clone her laptop and she said you can but it's probably not going to work so she ended up giving me a live programming disk so we can actually program it with a live stick USB USB 2 it's quite a bit slower but it does work and uh, just just so you know I did take the course and I've programmed probably I don't know maybe 500 of these maybe not that many but hundreds of these so I do feel like I'm qualified and so what we got to do is it's a railroad museum at this point we're turning it into a nightclub they do want to add an enunciator and they want to add a smoke and they want to change the welcome screen so we're gonna do that today I program everything with Linux and then I just throw it on a virtual box um, It has to be run from the command line and it has to be 32-bit Windows so I'm just that's what she told me so that's what I'm gonna go with so I'm gonna do screenshots so you can see how I do this okay let's get at it try and follow along I'm gonna speed it up a bit because just the uh, the programming is one thing but the build so when you go to build the job it takes on the live stick it takes nine minutes and that's too long uh, normally it takes about if you weren't doing it live it would take approximately say a minute but it takes a lot longer on a live stick I've done a few of these Okay, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit because um, there's nothing more boring than watching somebody program. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the uh, enunciator, the new enunciator. And everything on the right, you just drag it over to the left. And it picked it up and it assigned it address number six. And let's just play around with this a bit. I'm going to double click it, bring it up, going to name it. Annunciator, I gotta spell it right though. And then I'm just playing around here, I'm gonna unclick some of this stuff. This determines whether or not you can reset silence. It's the privileges that you get when you're at the remote annunciator. And I'm just playing around here because you shouldn't you should not have um, you shouldn't have any privileges without the key. This is where I could put in the bypasses, but I'm not going to. This is, I'm going to put the welcome screen, change it to, um, it's now going to be like a nightclub. i got to say, okay. Now the problem with 32-bit uh, windows, uh, i got to tab through everything because the, when they size that, that actual window, uh, it's too big. This is the loop. Going to the loop, I'm adding the electrical room smoke. And I'm playing around here a little bit. Um, I don't, like, I don't program simplex every day, and I usually let somebody do it, but uh, got to do what you got to do. It's a photo smoke, and then I go, get playing with it, and I go, no. Nah. Oh yeah, electrical room, the main electrical room actually. Now, if you're in Toronto, you have to put this, the, the level. And you notice I missed something there, but um, just play around a little bit more. I'm, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do here. 
it's actually smoke verified smoke is what I'm looking for and why I thought I was gonna find it up there I don't know so I did do something wrong here but we'll catch it a little bit later when we do the build so we're gonna go up and do a build And notice it goes to the C drive. Um, it kind of aborted because I was supposed to add the list, the zone list. Now, I'm not going to sign any LEDs at this time, but I am going to go down. Um, if you press F9, you can get the list, and then you just have to select one of those zones on that list. And now it should be good. Okay, and we go back. Now this takes look at look at how fast I got it going. It's sitting at twenty times speed, and we're up to three minutes already. It just it takes on the live stick. It takes like ten minutes just to build. This one's going to be about I think eight. Okay, look at that, 8 minutes and 20 seconds, 19 seconds actually. Not bad <laughs> for a live stick. I said that was USB 2, it's actually USB 3. That stick, that live stick. If it's USB 2, I don't, you, you could, it, this could take a month. USB 2 is just way too slow. Okay, we're going to try download and got to select a panel. It's a local panel on the uh, Ethernet cable. Download. It's not quite that fast. I've got the speed turned up a little bit. And when you get the green, that's good. That's really good. And now you're going to get the panels going to start a uh, uh, startup sequence. So we're good. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um, we're gonna start to close things down now. So close, close, and close off the programmer, and exit the PowerShell. All right, I'm getting excited because I, I got my smoke detector working, and I'm down to one trouble, and that's the enunciator. So I'm gonna hook it up temporarily, and it's address six. And that is address six, uh, hooking it up temporarily. See if I can clear the panel and I'll get right back to you. So I, I just hooked up the, um, <clears throat> sorry about the racket. I just hooked up the enunciator and there's no way when you're powering up that you can get rid of that noise. So um, just hooked it up. I'm hoping it clears. Okay, I gotta shut off the noise. Um, all clear, except, um, the enunciator. And this is just a rough in connection. So this is just to get it up and running. Let's see what happens. It should boot up. No problem. Really nice, really cute enunciator. Um, I've got two of them actually, but I just thought I'd try the one to start off with. It's showing clear, and this is going to show clear in a second. Just takes about uh, takes about a minute to boot up, and then it's uh, it's going to come up normal. So just give it a second. Sorry, I keep going back and forth. I'm just I'm actually really excited. So it is what it is. I'm really excited. So all I really have to do is touch that enunciator. Right, I just touch it, and it'll stop. And you can't hear it because I muted it, but it's it's blasting. And uh, anyways, it's clear. Um, job's done. I'm happy. I'm excited. Smoke detector works. Nunciator works. Panel works. The live stick works. Uh, 
couldn't be happier. So hope you learned something and uh, leave a comment, please. It's cool.